After centuries of sleep, of nothingness, I have returned. I have no memory of how I got here, or who I am. Yet something, something comes back to me. The game picks up straight after the events of Lords of Shadow where Gabriel has been revealed to be Dracula and he's sitting on his throne which is under siege and the game begins with a lengthy prologue where you are fighting a golden paladin and you get introduced to the various mechanics of a fully powered Dracula and then events happen, should we say, he said keeping it vague, where you find yourself in a modern day city and you're stripped of all your powers and Zobek appears from the first game and offers you a deal. Help defeat Satan, who is amassing an army, and we'll take it from there. I was great once. Feared. Yes. Now I remember. So weak now. Must find blood. The Castlevania fans, we're lucky in so much we have a massive, massive fan base. And some of the things that we wanted to address from the first game, we wanted to keep the sense of scale. We wanted to keep the, the epic nature, but we wanted to refine the combat. We wanted to have a proper world where you could explore. And we wanted a free roaming camera. Lots of people were a little bit frustrated with some of the fixed camera points. So you've now got a free roaming camera. And we've also we've refined combat as well. We, we don't want to make it a game where you just mash buttons. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 rewards you for intuitive and constructive play and it means that then you know via bloodletting, via collecting items and by being good at the game you can enhance him how you want him so you can choose the route you take through your power-ups instead of it just being you have this you have that instead you choose how you evolve this character you have the whole gothic ethos i mean it, it permeates every part of the game from the from the modern day city which is it's almost like you know evil has seeped and you've got these dark corners where these horrendous creatures grow i mean mercury steam have got these fantastic array of artists and i can't go into too much but basically demons are everywhere you know it's, it's like uh, as, as you explore the city they lurk everywhere and they they're almost in tune with the city so as you go to different areas so they're going to be things nothing will stand in my way they will pay even if it takes an eternity they will pay for i am the dragon dracul i am the prince of darkness we want them to enjoy the scale um, this is the second and final part of the you know, Castlevania Laws of Shadow series on these formats. And we're going out with a bang. It's an epic story. It's a huge game. Anyone who played the first one will know that it's about 25 hours of gameplay. But now you've got a city where you go out, it's living and breathing. It is the star of the game. We want people to explore it. We want them to power up and we want them to have a blast. shall come to fear me.